What's up, everybody? Welcome back to more podiums. Today, I wanted to run you guys through the usage of the Stream Deck along with iRace IT and iRacing so that you can make your pit stops seamless with the click of a button. If you guys are like me and you've been going through and racing and starting to get into a little bit more of the advanced races that require pit stops and you find that your wheel doesn't have enough buttons, or if you're running the Moza and you find that the buttons just fall off and you can no longer click or select with them, you can pick up a Stream Deck for a relatively inexpensive amount of money and be able to use this to make your pit stops easy and seamless. So let's jump in, let's figure out how we do the install. One of the gotchas that I got that uh, really messed me up whenever I was installing it, it took me like three hours to figure out such a silly, silly mistake. So stay tuned for that one, hint, it's administrator privileges. And then lastly, showing you guys what it looks like as you're actually running through iRacing and how easy everything is with the Stream Deck. So. All right, so you got your Stream Deck. You have it installed, it's where you want it, everything's good. First thing you do, go to Elgato's website, download the software for Stream Deck. Once you do that, it's gonna be gonna make this as easy for you guys as possible. Go in and look for your plugins under your settings. So settings, plugins, you hit plus. It's gonna bring you to the main web page. Simply search for iRacing. And you're gonna find it right here, iRace IT. iRace IT, by the way, thank you. I appreciate you. I appreciate that you're not charging for this awesome software. So you get iRace IT plugin, and it's gonna be helping you out with your pit stops. That's exactly what we got right here. All right, so you go in, you install it, everything's good. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to your plugins over on the right hand side and select what you want to modify. This is all around pit stops, everything about pit stops. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna left click, drag, and then select function and change what you wanna change. By the way, these toggles and these buttons have two options for some of them where if you're selecting change all tires, hitting the button again, deselects all of them. Or refuel, if you don't wanna refuel, you don't have to hit your refuel button. If you wanna only change lefts or you only wanna clear lefts, you have all these options available. Increase margin, decrease margin. You see it all right here. These are all the functions and you can even overlay the flags that are running. So if some of you guys are running maybe the NASCAR series or something that has yellow flags or a blue flag to come up and really make you stand out, you're able to get that information. So what you're gonna do, drag, drop, select what you wanna select. Um, changing through wet and dry tires. So if you guys followed along with Suzuka and the fumble and the, the Moza button situation that happened, um, that was the catalyst for all of this. If you wanna switch from dries to wets or wets to dries, click of a button, boom, easy. Not worrying about it, not going through black box controls, hitting left, right, up, down, the whole shebang. So that's what you got, that's what you're able to do. Another cool little hidden feature that we got is if you wanna to go to the next page, you're able to launch, let's say, trading paints, and you're able to bring it to the front, front or leave it in the back if you want to do that. All right. Now, if you run iRacing as an administrator, you need to run your Stream Deck as an administrator. If you find that you've installed iRace IT and you got your Stream Deck and it's not working, oh my God, it's so frustrating. Run as an administrator. Go in. Compatibilities. Run this program as administrator. And hopefully that will solve your problems the same way that they solved mine. Thank you to the one random Reddit post two years ago that let me know that's what I should look at. And that's exactly what the problem was. So easy day with that one. So let's jump in. Let's go over to iRacing, show you guys just how easy this makes it. All right, we're loaded into iRacing. I want to show you guys just how easy it is now to be able to do pit stops and tire and fuel strategy with the stream deck. So if you need to change all four tires or you don't want to change all four tires, it's just the click of a button. It's that easy. If you want to go from wets to dries, which by the way, their icon changes between which compound you're going to, it's just a single button click. No more fumbling through having to go through your black box controls, selecting which page you want to go to. If you want to refuel or auto refuel, it's just a single click of a button. If you want to increase your gallons and in increments, Boom. If you want to de-increment, decrement, 
my wife and I are arguing if this not arguing, but we're debating if this is a word. It's decrement is totally a word. Um, it's just a push of a button. It's so easy. It makes everything a lot easier. So this way you're going to be more focused on your race. What's ahead of you, what you're trying to do. If you're trying to undercut somebody with the pit strategy, as compared to fumbling around with trying to go through all your black box controls, if you even have enough buttons to be able to go through that or trying to worry about your macros that you have inside your keyboard, boom, focused on the race. Hope this helps you guys out. If you guys are having issues, I hope the administrator little tidbit there helps you guys out. And most importantly, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you on the grid. Peace.